what is a zombie? How do they become that way? To answer these and many other questions, we first have to take a look at the phenomena that are epidemics. Epidemic, from the Greek epi, which means upon, and demos, which means people, is a classification of a disease that appears in a human population with a rate that substantially exceeds what is expected. It can be restricted to one locale or a global pandemic. Now let's look at the epidemic that has been plaguing the Northeast for some time now, zombies. Here is some documented footage of the start of the outbreak. Dude, you're shouting with that shoes? Yeah, you got a problem. You need some kind of disease or something. Shut up. The zombie gene is a mutation of a virus which one can contract through the skin. The virus is then spread through the sharing of contaminated bodily fluids like blood. The lytic cycle is the way viruses reproduce by attaching themselves to a host cell and releasing their genetic instructions inside of that cell and by using the host's enzymes reproducing until they break free from the host cell and search through other cells to infect. Once a virus spreads, it begins to grow in an exponential pattern. The shift from a linear to an exponential growth happens when the epidemic reaches its tipping point. Like other epidemics, such as AIDS, SARS, bubonic plague, and mad cow, the zombie infestation creates a positive feedback loop where the infected persons will infect more and more of the population, which reinforces the infection rate. <laughs> Man, what's your deal? 
This graph shows the steep increase of infected persons as the rate of infection begins to grow by a percentile rate. At this point of the outbreak, the growth of the epidemic slows rapidly. The crude number of cases begin to decline due to government intervention, public awareness, and the general tendency of negative feedback that epidemics display in this stage. As more and more people become infected, the amount of non-infected people deplete. At first, confining the infected to their homes like those infected with the bubonic plague in the 14th century seemed to work. The growth of new zombies leveled off but continued to oscillate because family members of the infected were not cautious enough. Finally, the government intervened and collected all of the zombies, moving them to an isolated island in the Pacific Ocean, similar to the leprosy solution. Now, five years later, there are very few zombies left. This epidemic, which grew exponentially with positive then negative feedback, acted like most epidemics and can be easily depicted on a sigmoid graph.